What's up guys? This popped up on my YouTube feed today and I said, this is what I'm going to react to. Changbin and Hyunjin, Ratchalog. I look forward to it. Let's get right into this one. Guys, thanks for being here. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if I've seen these two together. 너무 바쁜 일정 탓에 볼링에 요즘 소홀했거든요. 좀 보험을 깔자면은 완성해서 또 볼링 오늘 잘칠수 있을지 모르겠습니다. 그리고 이곳 볼링장은 또 원정을 왔기 때문에 This makes me miss Korea. Like seeing them in Korea makes me miss Korea. So I was there teaching English to uh, uh, middle school students. 와 진짜 이렇게 놓고 진짜 못 치면 나 진짜 집에 가서 울수 있어. Um, thank you boy. Like I love the way Chang Bin carries himself, right? I've talked about this before, just the, the confidence that he carries himself with. And a lot has to do with his posture. Like he's always very open. His shoulders are back, his, his back is straight. He's like very open to the world, sort of elevates his presence in a way. Not only does that present as confident to the world, like not only do we look at Chang Bin and sort of get this sense of confidence from him, but I also think it sends signals to his own brain. It sends signals to himself. I think that's what happens when we sort of change our posture and open up a little bit more, is it sends signals to our brain to say, hey, we're actually feeling good. We're okay. We're safe. We're confident. So I, I think Chang Bin, just in general, I think he feels he feels really good about himself. That's sort of the the idea that I get from him. Oh, oh, sorry, can I? One turn, but I found the wind a little bit wrong, but the strike was good. Ooh, beautiful form. Hey, it's okay. Chang Bin's very extroverted, you know? He's very extroverted, but he's like a very introspective extrovert. I just I'll also just love hearing his encouragement, right? Not only encouragement for Hyun Jin, but also encouragement for himself. Like when he shot the ball down the lane, he's like, good shot. You know, like he, he builds himself, he builds others up around him, but he also builds himself up. Chang Bin showing off the muscles there. Again, I know I'm focusing on Chang Bin here, but he just like brings a lot of energy to the environment. His energy is contagious. And again, I think he's just a competitive person in general. I think rapping by nature, like that art, that craft, is competitive. So that might have something to do with it, but I think his personality suits rap. Uh, like I said, he's extrovert, he's outgoing, he's, I think he's just a really good role model, just like a strong leader, just a solid guy. You look at Chang Bin, it's like, yeah, I can rely on that guy, you know? And he wants to be that guy. That's the thing. I think he really embraces one of these leadership roles in the group. Just a solid dude, man. Just a solid, solid dude. There we go. A little Chang Bin rant for everyone, you know? Him and Han, man, they're competing for my bias. They've been competing. Hyunjin's got some swag, though. I gotta say, out of all the uh, aesthetics in the group, he might have the most swag in that department. Oh, wow, close game. Close game, wow. There's such, there's such different personalities, these two, huh? Like, they're both very into the game, though. Like, they both take it seriously, but they look differently when they take it seriously. Like, 
Chang Bin's very vocally competitive. He's very like outwardly competitive with himself too. But when you see Hyun Jin bowl, like he gets into it. Like there's an intensity to him too. Like he he he's very focused. It looks like when he gets into his tasks or the activities that he partakes in, there's an intensity to him. There's a real like deep intensity to Hyun Jin. One two, oh, one two three. Strike. 기가 막혔다 방금. 첫 스타트는 좋다. 굿샷! You know what Chang Bin looks like he'd be if he was like four inches taller? He looks like he'd be a bouncer outside of a club right now. Just the way he was standing with his arms like that and his outfit and his hat. And he's like a big guy. Like, you know, he's a muscular guy. He's built. Anyone else with me on that? Yeah, see, they're not going hard against each other. You know, it's it's kind of they're both supporting each other and encouraging each other. It's not like I have to beat you. You know, I have to win. You don't hear that from Hyun Jin or Chang Bin. It's kind of like a nice thing that they've got going on here. But like, it's hard not to have your energy levels raised around a guy like Chang Bin. Like, I think that's what he does for a lot of people. Like, like if I was playing bowling with, that's, that's how you know I don't really bowl. I said playing bowling. No one says playing bowling. If I was bowling with Chang Bin, I'd probably get really into it. Like, he'd probably get me hyped up, more competitive and into it. Like, activities are always so much more fun when you get into them. And I feel like Chang Bin's the guy to do that. And when you're around him, you can't help but get into these activities more. Yeah, because even as this game's gone on, you're hearing Hyun Jin get more and more vocal. Because I feel like Hyun Jin's a guy who is more likely to kind of get in his head. Chang Bin might be the least likely to get into his head. I'm sure he does, obviously. He's human. He vocalizes what he thinks. So I think Chang Bin's probably, probably good for Hyun Jin in that way. I, I think he probably helps Hyun Jin get out of his head and into the present. Just watching Hyun Jin like mess around with the equipment there. Like you, you know these guys are professionals, not professionals. You know these guys take the sport seriously when they have a ball for spares. You know, they have a specific ball for a certain shot. But just watching Hyun Jin, he was playing with something there. It's like you get the sense that he really like concentrates on the details of things. Like he's incredibly detail oriented and he sees things. He gets like really into things. And I think that's where I sense that that, that focus. It feels like Hyun Jin gets into different worlds, like, and he really kind of sees the details in the world, and he's absorbing, and he's processing, and I think that obviously affects the way he communicates, right? He might not be paying attention as much to um, his environment, or it might not be as easy for him to pay as, pay as much attention to his environment because of his intense focus. That's where his brain goes on certain things, right? And that, and that, that's part of you know, his gift. And that's part of who he is. <laughs> <laughs> they both look really happy, <laughs> don't they? They're <laughs> 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 All right, I like how Hyun Jin kind of called Chang Bin out in a joking way a couple times there and that you talk too much, you still get nervous in front of the camera. 
그래서 좀 울렁울렁 하시나 봐요. 약간 추워요. 아, 저... 아마 추워. 괜찮아, 근데 잘 나왔을 거야. 해파리 한번 먹어. 해파리 한 번도 안 먹었어? 응. 냉채 족발 안 먹었어? 그 해파리야? 우리 드는 게 해파리야. 내가 그럼 그동안 해파리를 먹었다는 거야? 그럼, 그럼. <웃음> 맛있겠다. 아, 하나 깐줘, 깐줘. 깐줘. 광어, 아, 광어. And I also wonder if Hyunjin needs a break and some alone time after spending a day with Changbin because Changbin, I mean, he called him out. He said, you talk too much. I wonder if Hyunjin's like, all right, I need a breather. That was a lot. I need to chill out in my room for a good seven hours. Although, although Hyunjin clearly loves it and he's clearly very amused by Changbin, I do wonder if he goes home and needs that alone time after. But he, he obviously thinks he's hilarious. And I like the fact that Hyunjin is like, I know he's younger, but feels comfortable enough to kind of poke and tease at Changbin. I like that. So obviously Changbin makes him feel comfortable enough to do that. Mmm. The That was the quietest I think I've ever heard Chang been for those past two minutes. So maybe he was thinking, you know, I've talked a lot during this episode, and maybe even Hyun Jin's comment stuck with him. Could have just been like, hey, there's food in front of me now. This is how I stay quiet. Maybe that's what it takes. Just some food in front of Chang Bin to have him be quiet. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's about. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Someone's making a TikTok out of that for sure. That's hilarious. Ah, 등산이나 좀 해보 하고 싶다. 요즘 우리가 산을 너무 안 가. 뭐 언제 갔냐? 어렸을 때산 가지 않았어? 그때 뭔 등산이야? 편님이 등산 가야겠다. 어제 우리 촬영하는 취지가 있잖아. 뭔가 이렇게 또 현진이가 또 데이트하는 이거를 또 약간 브이로그처럼 좀 돌아가도 괜찮을 것 같아가지고 그렇게 돌아오게 됐잖아. 편님. 어 그래가지고. 아스테가 이거 보고서 좀 좋아해 주셨으면 좋겠네. 현희빈이의 일상 로그. 진짜 일상이긴 해. You know, I think Chang Bin gets a lot of joy knowing that the guys look up to him, but more so that the guys appreciate and love him and want to be around him. You know, so I think he kind of, like I said before, he embraces that leadership role, he embraces that role. Hyun Jin said, just earlier said, we should do a, a hiking day. When he proposed that day, when he promote, proposed that Hyunny and Binny day, saw a big smile on Chang Bin's face like he kind of lit up and so I just think Chang Bin gets a lot of joy and satisfaction and validation almost knowing that his brothers love being around him. <laughs> you know, in a way, Hyunjin kind of, like I said this from the beginning, because I got this vibe from the beginning, but he kind of marches to the beat of his own drum. He kind of reminds me of V. I've mentioned that before. He reminds me of V from BTS in the sense that I think they're like both very deep thinkers. They can both kind of get into their own worlds, into their own heads. And I also think there's like a real authenticity to both of them. You can kind of see their emotions worn on their faces. But I've said that from Hyunjin. I think he marches to the beat of his own drum. I think he does his own thing. And if he's not feeling something, he's not going to like pretend that he is feeling it. And there's just an honesty to Hyunjin in that way. He doesn't try to hide his feelings. He doesn't try to hide his mood. And you know when he's feeling you. I feel like Hyunjin's the type of guy where you know if he likes you. You know where you stand with Hyunjin. Hyunjin, what are you doing? 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 What are you
俺ベストカップルさん<笑>俺ベストカップルさんもう이생가현이형님이렇게괜찮다Chang Bin lets Hyun Jin come at him. I like that part of their dynamic. Like, Chang Bin seems to put himself out there in this ridiculous way at times. Like, he'll sing and do silly things and be loud and somewhat obnoxious. And that kind of gives Hyun Jin the opportunity to fire at him and to tease him in a way that might be a conscious effort on Chang Bin's part to get Hyun Jin out of his head. And into the relationship and into the present. And I think that's a part of like their, you can call it flirtatiousness, their playfulness. It's a part of their playfulness. And again, Chang Bin gives Hyun Jin space to be sassy and funny and playful、uh, because he puts himself out there and he doesn't take himself too seriously around Hyun Jin. I'm not going to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit. 야, 프로틴, 프로틴 잘한다. 근데 하루의 시작을 이렇게 좋게. You hear that? You're great at flirting. It's interesting how they'll use that word, flirting, because it is, you know, playfulness in a sense. It's another word for flirting. I think a lot of the time people associate the word flirting with being romantic, but that's not necessarily the case. You can flirt with your friends, you can be playful with your friends. It's true. I think people just automatically assume it's like a romantic or a sexual thing when it's not. But that's how the word is associated in a lot of our minds. Flirting is really a good descriptor for, for a lot of these relationships and stray kids. I'm not sure if you're going to be a little bit of a bullying. I'm not sure. Hyunjin has that relate. First of all, Hyunjin finds Chang Bin hilarious. It's clear he finds him hilarious. But he gets to do this. Like, Chang Bin gives Hyunjin the space to tease him and to make fun of him. Because, you know, Chang Bin doesn't fire back at Hyunjin in the same way. Because Chang Bin can also, I think, he can take it a little bit more. I didn't know. Right? He didn't fire back at Hyunjin there. He just kind of m a k e a joke out of it. Okay, okay. I think he likes getting a rise a little bit out of Chang Bin. And yeah, Chang Bin lets him. Chang Bin lets him. What did he say to flirt, though? Sorry, I keep going back here. What did he say? Oh, will you go out with me? <laughs> of course, you're wide awake, Chang Bin. Of course, you're full of energy. I love how like, Chang Bin's like, courting Hyun Jin. He's like, Will you go out with me? He like, asked him. He, like, he asked him, Will you go out with me? <laughs> so, yeah, I do think Chang Bin has a soft spot for Hyun Jin, a special soft spot for him. Again, I think Chang Bin likes the validation more than he may let on. He, he takes in people's reactions. <laughs> yeah, Chang Bin really is charming and he knows how to turn on the charm. He knows how to get you on his side. Like, he knows how to get things out of people, he knows how to make people feel comfortable. That's part of like, his observational prowess. Like, he's very, very smart with people. Guys, as always, if you want to watch my uncut reaction and analysis, all you need to do is go to my Patreon page. I've included the link in my description below. Other than that, I appreciate you being here. I'll catch you soon. Peace.